honey, have you been researching our trip? Oh, you know, I was just Googling um, the best beaches in Texas. And uh, let me pull it up real quick. So I really like this one in South Padre. Little did dad know that when he put his dates into the hotel site, Google and many travel sites know he is planning a trip this August. So, you know, John's done with band camp in the first week of August. I think uh, when he gets back would be a great time for us to go. Oh, look, honey. A South Padre Island Resort ad just came up on my Facebook feed. While you and I search the web, small computer programs called cookies are stored on your devices, which sends marketing firms information. Mom and Dad will also begin to see targeted ads on their social media for swimsuits, beach equipment, and tourist activities in Padre Island as well. Mackenzie, look at this shirt. Wouldn't it be so cute for one of our dinners during the trip? As Mom and Dad continue to pause or like the targeted ads, technology companies begin building a portfolio about them. Hey, Mackenzie, you don't have to be to work for another hour and a half. Let's go to Hula Hoops now and see if they have that shirt. Mom gets in the car twice a week about this time to drive Mackenzie to her job at the mall. The Maps app and other apps using location services are tracking her movements and suggesting where she might be going. It's trying to be helpful, but once again, it's storing and tracking all of Mom's movements to continue to build that portfolio. In addition to preventing theft, security cameras are used in more ways than Mom and Mackenzie realized. Facial recognition software is tracking their movements, computing their time in each aisle, and selling their data for, you guessed it, more targeted advertising. That's so cute, Mom, you should get it. You think so? I think I'm gonna get it for the trip. And just like that, the shirt ad was effective and targeted advertising worked. Hi, would you like to sign up for our rewards program today for 15% off your purchase? Sure. Each time you sign up for a business rewards program, you give them permission to track your purchases. This all adds to your digital profile and creates more targeted advertising where the technology companies are getting a clearer and more focused picture of who you are. Oh wait, my phone just went to sleep. Remember, once your face print and other identifying information is out there, it could be available to people or organizations you are unaware of who could use it in ways that you did not authorize. Hey Lainey, I haven't seen you since last month when I babysat you and your little brother. Hey. Come on, let's take a quick selfie. Okay. Smile big. It was so great to see you. Can you send me that picture so I can put it on my social media? Absolutely. Great to see you. I'll see you next month whenever you come babysit me. Bye. Oh, hey, Mom. Um, can I upload this to my social really quick? Although Mackenzie is far past 13 years old, Lainey is only 10. When she signed up to use social media, she more than likely lied about her age because most social media companies do not allow users under the age of 13. These companies adhere to the COPPA law, which stands for the Children's Online Privacy and Protection Act. Congress passed this law back in 1988, even before social media was a thing. Lawmakers are concerned about businesses collecting information about children, such as names, phone numbers, photos, and locations. Children are considered a vulnerable group and should be protected. Once they are older, ages 14 to 16 or so, they begin to understand the risks and consequences of posting online. In addition to safety concerns, COPPA is still a valid law because of mental concerns of younger children using social media. Children's brains are still developing and are sensitive to rejection and acceptance. I hate that my life is caught up in how many likes I receive on social media. Wait, that's questionable content and you're tagged in it. You know that all the colleges you've applied to are looking at all your social media and you need for that to be a representation of who you are. I know, Mom. I just want you to understand that social, me even social media can have consequences for whole, your whole life. Let's go. In 2017, a high school football player experienced this very thing. He unfortunately lost a Division I scholarship due to a video he posted on YouTube with foul language and unlawful trespassing. Hey mom, I'm actually kind of glad that you saw that. When I get home, I'm gonna go change my user settings and make sure that I, can, I have to approve any post that my friends tag me in. Come on, let's go home and start thinking about our trip.